everyone welcome to the second video of house price prediction video see in the previous video i have discussed the basic requirements for the project and i have shown you the final project that we are going to build in this video we are going to train our linear regression model on the house price data set and in the upcoming videos we are going to design our website so let's begin here i'm using jupyter notebook for writing the code for model training but you can use any other ide as well so we will start by importing the required libraries. First, we need a library called pandas, which will be used for accessing the data set from the Excel files. Let's import it. Next, we need matplotlib for plotting graphs. Next, we need to import Seaborn, which is also used for plotting graphs. Next, we are going to import a function called train test split from a library called sklearn. Uh, next, we are going to import a function called linear regression again from sklearn. And the last function that we are going to import is called matrix again from the sklearn library. Uh, this will be used at the end for calculating the accuracy. So let's run this cell. Okay, the cell has run. Secondly, let's load our data set. Now the link to download this data set will be available in the description. You can download it from there and use it here. So let's create a variable called data in which our data set will be stored. This read underscore CSV is a function of the pandas library, which is used to read the CSV files. And as an argument, we will pass the name of the CSV file. Now let's uh, display the first five rows of this data by using dot head function. Let's run the cell. There is some error, it is PD because we have imported here uh, import pandas as PD. Let's run this. Okay, so here you can see that the first five rows of this data set has been displayed. So this data set basically contains a total of seven columns in which this price column is our output variable. And on the basis of all these six columns, the value of the price column will be pre predicted. Now, as we know that the linear regression is a mathematical model, it, it basically predicts the value of any attribute using mathematical functions. So the input variables should be in numeric forms. So from here, you can see that average area income, average area house age, and up to this area population all are in float form, but the address a column is of string form so we we don't need this column because it is not of much use so we are going to drop this column and we will be only using the five columns for the prediction of house price so let's drop the address column And let's again print the first five rows of the data set using the same head function. Let's run this. Okay, so here you can see that the address column is now dropped. So now as you can see that here only five rows are visible 
but we need to check from the whole data set that whether there are some values that are missing or not. So for that, we are basically going to plot a heat map for whole data. So let's do it. For plotting the heat map, we are basically going to use Seaborn library, sns.heatmap. And as an argument, we are going to pass data dot is null. So if there would be any missing entity, it will be shown in the heat map. Let's run the cell. From here, it can be seen that no value is missing. It means our data is perfectly fine. Now we can move ahead. Okay, so now we are going to split our data into two parts. That is the one for training and one for testing. Before splitting the data into test and training part, we are going to split it into two parts. That is X and Y. The X variable will contain all the input variables and the Y variable will uh, contain the output variable. So for instance, all the input variables are uh, average area income to area population and the output variable is price. So let's split it accordingly. So the X variable will contain all the columns except the price and the Y variable is going to contain the price uh, column only. Okay, so now we are going to split the X and Y variables into test and training part. So the test part will be used for testing our model and the train part will be used for training the linear regression model. So Let's create four variables, x underscore train, x underscore test, y underscore train, and y underscore test. And here we are going to use the inbuilt function that is train test split. Uh, this thing we have imported up in the first cell, split. And as an argument, we are going to write x and y. And we have to specify the test size. Let's say it is 0 0.30. Now, this test size equals 0 0.30 means that 70% of the data will be in training part and the 30% of the data will be in testing part. So, let's run this cell. Okay, test run. So now our train test split has been done and now it's time to train our model. So let's create a variable called model. And here we are going to use the inbuilt function of a linear regression. Fit is an inbuilt function again. And as an argument, we have to provide x underscore train and y underscore train. Okay, let's run this cell. There is some error. Okay, this is model dot fit. Okay, this cell has run properly. And now let's make the predictions of uh, x underscore test. Let's uh, create a variable called predictions, which is equal to model dot predict. This predict is again an inbuilt function. And as an argument, we are going to provide x underscore train, or oh, sorry, test. Let's run this cell. It has run. Now let's print this predictions variable. Okay, so it basically contains an array which includes all the predictions. Now, since we have trained our model and the predictions have been made, now it's time to evaluate our model. For evaluation, we are going to use root mean square error. So let's create a variable called error np.square root. This is an inbuilt function again. 
and matrix dot mean absolute error now this mean absolute error is again an inbuilt function and as an argument we have to provide first the actual results that are stored in y underscore test and then our predicted results which are stored in a variable called predictions let's run this there is a error np is not defined so we have not defined numpy here let's do it import numpy as np let's run this cell now let's run this okay this has been run now let's print the error okay so this is our error so in this way we have trained our model and we have made the predictions now the predictions have been made on the x underscore test data but when we are going to deploy this model or you can say that when we are going to use this model on our web then we are not going to predict the values for x underscore test rather we are going to predict the values for the input variables that the user will provide so we will make those changes while we are creating our website but now in order to calculate the accuracy we have made the prediction on it x underscore test data so that's all for this video in the next video onwards we are going to create our website